Yes, I thought I would do a video today on the HP 59401A bus system analyzer. This uh, instrument is used to capture and analyze HPIB bus traces. You program the instrument via these paddle switches down here so you would paddle in your command via binary and it will show you up here and read it back in octal. It also shows you any uh, ASCII characters that may be associated with that uh, that octal reading and shows you the memory registers over here. This uh, instrument has been around for a long time. Uh, I think these things were f first talked about in 19, around 1975. I think there's a uh, an HP journal. I think it's the January 75 edition where they cover this instrument. There's also uh, an HP uh, briefs around 1980 that covers this instrument. But uh, you can use this thing to, uh, like I said, analyze traces and send commands to instruments. So I'm going to kind of do a demonstration here and how you can capture the traces and review them and uh, maybe even send a some commands to an instrument. So to set this instrument up for capture, we make sure that the, uh, the remote enable is turned off, that our memory registers are cleared, the comparator is turned off, the instrument is set to listen, and we'll set to listen in fast mode which will enable us to capture everything at the full bus speed. The instrument we'll use is, or set, is the HP 3325A function generator. And we're going to use HT Basic to send a simple command. We'll set the amplitude to minus 10 dB and the frequency to 1 megahertz. So, with that, I'll send it. The instrument is captured, and so now let's review what was sent. All right, to review what was sent, we simply use the memory position switch and we toggle down through the commands. We go to the very start, which is right here. What's happening here is that the instrument or the uh, the pro or the command is sending out a uh, a talker command. It is setting the talker HPIB address to 00. We then send an unlisten command that tells every instrument on the chain to unlisten. Next command we send to the uh, function generator, we tell it to listen. We then uh, send the commands amplitude minus 10 dB with a frequency of 1 megahertz then followed by a carriage return and a line feed at that point the instrument is set so what we can do now is that we can save this and send it again only using this instrument here okay well now that we have the capture being replayed we have a little bit of an issue here Everything's going through just fine, but as soon as we cycle around and hit register zero, well, now we got an error. Error eight, which is an invalid, invalid command. And as it cycles around, it sits there and just programs the instrument. So, what we're going to have to do is one of two things. We're going to have to either halt at the line feed or we can add a command so we got our line feed there we can go here and issue a go to local command which is going to be a command and the binary is just one and we can press that and that's now stored in there so now we can go back and run the program again. Once it gets out of this, it should 
and I can program the amplitude and the frequency and it should start over again without the error which it is doing now it's going back and programming the amplitude and now the frequency so that solved that problem now the other way to do it is we can also issue or have the uh, the program stop by issuing a let's see what is it a uh, unlisten command or well we, I guess we could do an unlisten command and, or we could do use the comparator function and stop it so this here will work just fine and uh, it's uh, kind of nice being able to do this <laughs> the real old school way and toggle stuff in now to just simply monitor bus traffic we have the instrument set to listen and to listen at the full bus speed and we're going to send a plot of this here off the HP 53A and we're going to send that to the plotter so, first we will draw the graticule. Now, we will send the trace. done all that cool stuff so to wrap things up here I just wanted to briefly cover a couple of tools that I use to do all this programming I use a uh, I quite often use these tools here these this is a uh, uh, Windows console program it's called talk.exe is part of the GPIB tools kit that is free for download uh, this here allows you to just go from the command line and issue commands directly to the instrument. I also use a commercial product called HT Basic, which allows me to write software in Basic to take even code examples right out of the owner's manuals. And let's see here, we can uh, open up a file here. This one here. This one is set up for uh, pro is set up to uh, talk to my counter and my function generator, and it will set the function generator to one megahertz square wave at minus twenty dB, and have the counter report a reading every five seconds. So we can go there. And now it's pulling a reading every five seconds. Very, very useful piece of software. It's you, there's a there's a free version that you can download of this that will work. The only the only exception is that you can't save anything, and uh, it's got a 30 minute timeout. But you can just simply just restart it and play with it. But uh, I bought a license for this so I could uh, really start learning more about all of this. This is stuff I should have learned back in the uh, <laughs> back in the day when I was in school. But anyway, uh, this is about it for now. I'll cover this software later in another video and uh, maybe go a little more in depth in it. See ya.